Hello from Atlanta. This is cool day for, for me because I'm here in Atlanta doing some other work and David just showed up with a surprise. This is the Zendrum Mallet Pro. It's going to come out in two sizes. The Zendrum Mallet Pro and the Zendrum Mallet Pro X, which will be a little bit larger, be a three and a half octave. So let basically the differences are going to be this is uh, two and a half octaves. So for now, it's C down to the G. So it lays out just like a set of bells or a, an orchestra xylophone, the pit xylophones that you see uh, in the suitcase kind of configuration. And then the large one will be three and a half, but also have a bank of world famous Zendrum triggers across the top. Now, the reason that's cool is if I'm doing a show, I can have all my mallet instruments sitting here and I need all of a sudden I need a woodblock tone so I can just reach up and play the Zendrum trigger. I don't have to reconfigure a bunch of stuff. If I need a four note bass marimba chord is what I hate about doing shows is I end up with a 12 foot long marimba for one chord. I can put the four notes via Zen edit on one of those pads, just hit it and that's it. My marimba now is a large Zendrum trigger. So let's talk real quick about, you know, what we got here, because this is my first impression. So we thought it'd be cool to record my first impressions about this instrument. We have real bars. These are made out of walnut, right? Mm -hmm. David says yes, walnut bars. So the feel of regular mallets when you're playing a marimba patch is spot on. If I want to play a xylophone patch, I want to use my Becker mallets, which most guys will use for rags. Complete with the glissando. You can't do the glissandos on rubber. You can do it here. So th this feels exactly like playing a, a, a regular xylophone or, or marimba because of the, the, wooden the wooden bars. Also, this is the first mallet instrument to actually raise the height of the sharps and flats. And as anyone knows, when you're playing a marimba part, having that feel of the the, the notes going up is important. It's not supposed to be flat when you play a regular marimba. So I personally jumped on this thing and within one chromatic scale it feels like home. No more learning. Don't have to worry about it. Since it's not flat surface like a vibraphone, which is fine, this makes playing I don't have to think about this. I don't have to learn about this. This is second nature. I just walked up, played one chromatic scale, got my spacing reference, which is very similar to a non-graduated, say, Musser M51 xylophone or the Acoustalon or the, even the Rosewood stuff from Yamaha and Musser. They don't get larger as they go to the left, which is fine because these are triggers. We don't need them to get larger. But they feel exactly comfortable. It's a seamless transition. Also, the people that I, work, that I work with that hire me are going to love the fact that this looks like a regular mallet instrument. This looks like a, the new gateway marimbas and xylophones from Mapex. I mean, you put this right next to theirs and it's exactly the same. Look. So that's going to make it a lot easier for me to go ahead and take this out on gigs. So I'm digging this thing. Now this prototype, but go ahead, this is not the exact model gonna, that's going to ship but it's, we're very close. This prototype has two more triggers up here. So what I'm able to do then is I can start with like a vibraphone patch. Because I've got these triggers and I'm using main stage, here's a screenshot of main stage, you can see what that is. These triggers can now function as patch changes. So I can hit the down arrow once and now I'm playing marimba. Hit the thing again. The alpha, hit it again. Orchestra bells. Anything you need to do a show, 
this, these two little extra triggers, and a $30 program for the Mac called MainStage, I can do my entire pit work, my entire studio work, and this is as much room as I take up, plus a little stand for my laptop. So it's coming soon, and this thing is great. I'm thrilled to be sitting here playing it. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to take it home with me on the airplane. But I'll tell you what, this is coming real soon and everyone should definitely check this thing out. So thanks for watching, and thanks to David, who's sitting in the corner over there. Just say hi, David. Come on. Hi, David. I want to thank him for letting me play with this thing, because this thing is awesome. So thanks for watching.